it's your boy Angry Carrot here today, and we're going to be talking about the HQ Trivia Answers program that I created a while back. Um, at a popular request by people that have been downloading it, they would like to see a tutorial on how to use this software correctly. I can't promise you it'll make you win HQ Trivia. I can't promise you that you'll get even one or two more answers correct because of this. This is just a good tool to help you get those questions that you normally would think would be Googleable, but you can't Google them fast enough. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to this link, um, link down in the description. If not, you can type it in um, github.com slash build10s slash hq dash trivia dash answers. You're going to click this clone or download, and we're just going to do a download zip. This program is going to be pretty big. Um, it contains a bunch of data for reading text, so expect it to be a little over a gigabyte most likely. Okay, so once we have it downloaded, you're going to unzip it, and it's going to look something like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on HQ Trivia, bin, debug, and then right here, this is everything you need to run the application. So first things first, let's just double click on the executable. And here's the program itself. So you can see we have a few things we have run, open capture, and run text. I have a newer version, um, the run text isn't actually available. So what you guys are going to see is something like this. So this is your basic output window and some settings right here. So we'll go over this open capture button first. So in order for this application to actually work, you need to figure out a way to display your phone screen on the screen. So I just use, if you go here and you do connect right here. You can actually cast your Android phone directly to this. If you have an iPhone, um, you're going to have to figure out a different way. I don't use those crappy phones. Um, but anyways, just for now, for testing purposes, since HQ Trivia is not going on, we're just going to look up HQ Trivia questions. Do a quick Google search here. We're going to go to images. And maybe we'll find one of these that... It's in the process of being asked, like this one. Let's go ahead and open image in a new tab, and we'll just kind of, kind of low quality. Let's try to find a better one, maybe a little bit higher resolution. Uh, yeah, this one will do. Okay, so when your phone screen is displayed on the screen, it's going to be something like this. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch, like this. Okay. So then you're going to click your open capture window and all you have to do is position this around the question and the answers and because of the layout of hq trivia you'll only really have to do this the first time and after each question it'll pretty much stay in the same spot so now we can go back here and now we have the settings we sh you should probably set these up before the actual competition starts um, so in the settings, we'll see convert image to black and white. This is going to help with the accuracy of the reading of the text, but it could take longer. We're going to turn that on just for testing purposes right now to make sure we get the most accurate results. Then we have two methods. So what this does, this application, it searches Google and tries to figure out the answer. So method one, it's going to put these answers in the Google search and then search for anything that's related to this question. Method two is going to do the opposite. It's going to put the question in and search for these answers. Now, method two is a lot faster because it's only doing one search and it's looking for these questions. Method one is going to be a little bit slower, but it also could give you better results. We're just going to tick both of these right now. So now that we have all these settings enabled, we can click Edit Search Engines. Now this is a cool feature, so you can customize this however you want. You'll see method 1 and method 2 both have Google underneath them. Meaning method 1 is going to use the Google search engine, and method 2 is also going to use the Google search engine. But let's say we like method 2 a lot, so we want to add another search engine to that to get more accuracy. What we can do is we can go to Yahoo, 
because Yahoo is a search engine. And let's just type something in here. We'll say test. Okay. So now you're going to look up here in the URL bar, and you're probably going to see something like search, question mark, and then a P or a Q, and then equals, and then you're going to see what you typed in. You want to go ahead and delete all of this, and just take this right here. What you can do to make sure this is actually the correct link is you can actually type after, say, this is a new search, and you'll see it'll actually come up with that new search. Anyways, back to the program itself. So what we can do is we can click Add. Now let's name it Yahoo. Now we need to enter the search URL we wish to use. So let's go ahead and copy this, paste it, and click OK. And now what method would we like to use with this search? Do we want one or two? We're going to go with two. Now you'll see that Yahoo is added to this list. You can also delete these and edit these as you please. If we edit this one, we can see its name is Google. And you can see these search parameters right here. And of course, that is a method to Google search. Same with this one. You can see it's Google. It has the search in there. And it's for method one. So once you're done with that, you can just close it. And you're ready to go. So let's just click Open Capture again. Make sure this is still centered. Now let's click Run and see if this can actually get us an answer. So after you click it, it's going to pause for a second. And because we checked all of these, it's going to take a little bit longer to process. But we can see it gave us an output. Method 1 runs first. So we have a few results here. So we have a Google result that says IGN is the answer. Another Google result that says IGN is the answer. A Google result that says Waypoint is the answer and a Yahoo result that says IGN is the answer. So now looking at these, I think we can obviously tell the IGN is the best answer. So you could easily click that, and that would that's how this program works. That's the most likely the correct answer um, in this case. So we'll see if we uncheck a few of these. Maybe we just want to run method one, and we don't want to convert it to black and white. Let's see what kind of results it gives us. So now we can see blank and blank. This is most likely because it was unable to read this image properly. Sometimes you get this and sometimes it just works. So you're just going to have to mess around with your system and how your phone looks on the screen. So you'll know whether you have to convert it or not. And you can even mess around with this window and the sizing. And sometimes that will fix things as well. But it doesn't seem like it. So we're going to click this convert image to black and white again. We'll run this and we'll see that this method one has returned IGN. So I hope that helps you guys out understanding how to use this program. If you have any more questions or suggestions, you can go ahead and leave them in the comments. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more hacks every single day. It's your boy, Angry Carrot, flipping on the jack side.